and I let's do that again. <laughs> I, I remember when she. Where was it actually? Are you, are you still recording? Yeah, yeah. When we realised Daniel was getting engaged and he was settling down, it was a bit of a surprise for us, and we we never thought it would ever happen. We thought Daniel would be single all of his life, but of course it was the it was the best thing that happened. Now he seems to have grown up a lot. Do you recall when she actually told us? Not particularly. It was one time she just like, guys, by the way, I'm getting married in two months. That's the date of the oh wedding. God, that was in December. That was just two months ago. We did advise her against the marriage. Uh, more so not because she was getting hit, but she was actually trapping an innocent little guy. Not really little, but innocent guy. And uh, yeah, we would much rather that Dan be free and agile and still be ready to elope. But clearly, that has kind of like not going to be happening anytime soon. You didn't, you didn't salvage Dan. I tried to salvage Dan, and I did try to convince him as recent as Tuesday that, mate, you still have time to run away. Just because you have a tenancy agreement doesn't mean that you're actually bonded. So, but he still didn't run away. I think he didn't have enough time. I think uh, Sadia kind of like kept it. Yeah, I think that's why the two months is that's like exactly. it was a fast catch. Very fast. <laughs> Good friends with him, and we managed to get up to a lot of um, mischief, as you can imagine, uh, especially when Dan was at university. We, uh, we did a karaoke night for a lot of years uh, at a local pub, so me and Dan getting up on stage doing some singing, so that's why we enjoyed our, uh, our stag do, our bachelor party, uh, that was good fun. Um, big surprise when he, uh, he told me that he got engaged to Sanya, uh, I knew he'd been with her for a little while, and that was uh, that was a surprise that he'd managed to convince someone to stay with him for the rest of their life. But he's a, he's a really good guy. Uh, Dan's been a, a solid part of my life. I've, uh, he has a lot of wisdom uh, that I've uh, had from him. And... Sanya, I think all of us are a step flatmate. We just yeah, earned right now a step husband. So we are legit family and don't forget about that, sorry, that's personal, uh, William and Maximilian. So uh, they will have to visit this family. So we'll need to stay close and uh, wish you all the happiness. And Dan and Sanya, I wish you all the best for your marriage and your partnership together. I look forward to be part of it. I can't wait for you to spend a bit of time back in the UK with me and my family. To do all the things I want to do and plenty of grandchildren. This is what we're hoping for. Back in 2020, I decided to take a chance on a blind date and I met you. At that point, I didn't think we would be standing here today, three years later. In these years, we've grown and we've adapted. We've embraced our differences and celebrated all our similarities. We have a fair share of differences. I like to spend money, you like to save it. I love to plan everything and you can just go with the flow. But I think in these differences, we complete each other and bring balance to our lives. You're the yang to my yin. I admire your ability to stay calm in tough situations. <laughs> the ability to listen every day to my work problems and there are many. To always make sure I'm fed and I don't live off instant noodles. And finally, to trust every big and small idea I have. Thank you for embracing me with every insecurity and for always making me laugh when I, li when I take life too seriously. I promise to be honest, faithful and loyal to you. 
to take your hand and stand by your side in the good and the bad. I promise to honor, love, and cherish you through all the adventures we're yet to embark on. In front of our loved ones today, I choose you, and I will continue to choose you forever. Sanya, I love you dearly for all that you are. You came into my life at exactly the, the right time. You are the missing piece I didn't know I needed. And now I feel comfortable. My weaknesses are your strengths and vice versa. And, and that's how it should be. It's what makes a, a team great. Uh, people who compliment each other. We pulled through some difficult times and proved just how great a team we are. When we first met, I thought you were a high maintenance princess. And after being together all this time, I, I realized I'm a pretty good judge of character. But I wouldn't have it any other way, because having a princess makes me feel like a king. Not, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, well, after I wrote it, I realized that it's a kid. <laughs> oh, gosh. In front of all of those we are closest to, I make these following vows. Uh, I vow to be your steady rock, your shoulder to cry on, and an ear to listen whenever you need it. I vow to be the man you deserve. I promise to teach you how to swim and ride a bike, but not at the same time. I promise always to make you laugh when you feel sad. I vow to be the most dependable person in your life. You fill up my empty spaces, and I will spend the rest of my life showing you how much I appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents for raising an amazing, thoughtful, heroic, a generally, <laughs> a generally quite brilliant guy. Um, you've both taught me so much about life and love and how to, how to maintain a relationship. I don't think I ever saw either of you argue, um, ever, you know, seriously argue, or if you did, you was always you'd be reconciled straight away, which is, um, I think it's very, something very, very important. Is, you have to have that reconciliation. So thank you for teaching me about life and love and everything else you taught me about. <clears throat> to parents. We've all got them. To parents. Dancing in the moonlight Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody's dancing But we all know Dan likes to uh, keep fit and work out. You're always sweaty and trying to scrub off those <laughs> those miles off your shorts. But even he can't work out how he's managed to work this out. <laughs> well done, Dan. <laughs> She's a bit of a keeper, that one. Sanya, you are beautiful. You're smart. You're caring. You're extremely kind. And that's why... It's so good that Dan has married to, managed to marry her before you found the right person. <laughs> As I stand here today, looking at my daughter Sanya, I'm filled with a sense of pride and joy. Sanya, you have grown into an amazing young woman, and I'm so proud of you. I brought you up as my little princess and always pampered you. But the last 10 years of your stay in Singapore, you have shown nothing but courage, strength and independence. Dan, well, I've collectively met him three times, including today. And Sonia, well, 
I was supposed to be her replacement in the apartment, believe it or not. It's the oddest of things, but that's how I met them. And as a couple, I find them to be the most complimentary couple that I've actually come across. Sanya, very calm and zen and always with the solutions and Dan up for partying, always, you know, there with the mic on. And I feel that their journey is going to be beautiful and I wish you all the best, all the love and happiness.